You might be wondering what I'm doing here at Cow Palace in line with all these people. My name is Zach and I'm the Bite Size Engineer. Let's go check out Open Sauce 2024. If you've never heard of Open Sauce, that's okay because this is only the second time they've even held the event. It's basically a maker event held in San Francisco each year. The main organizer, William Osmond, describes it as the greatest science fair in the world. As I walked around the event, I was overwhelmed by all of the amazing projects and exhibits. I think what makes this event so successful is that there's something for everyone. There were so many things to see. There were projects that used lights and music. There were a ton of projects showcasing robotics as well as desktop manufacturing. And to top it all off, there were a lot of interesting vehicles that people had built. And a lot of the things that I saw there were just simply for the sake of art. I think this spoke to me personally because a lot of the things that I build, especially on my own channel, are kind of impractical and they don't really have a real world application. I didn't see anybody asking the maker, well, why did you build that impractical thing? I think it would be awesome if more of us just built things because it's fun to design, it's fun to create, and it's fun to be impractical. I couldn't possibly tell you about all of the projects that I saw there, but here are a few highlights. There were a lot of DIY electronics projects, including this Tesla coil, a ton of 3D printers doing a lot of cool and amazing things. There was a really cool drone and some cool PCB art. This looks like a 3D rocket nozzle that has some thrust vectoring. And here's an astrophotography setup that uses stepper motors to track the stars. And there were several motion control demonstrations as well as some PID control loop demonstrations. This booth really caught my attention because it's showing acoustic levitation. There's a whole array of ultrasonic transducers that are suspending these little bits of styrofoam. And what's even more impressive is that they're using a phased array to move the bits of styrofoam around. And of course, there was the giant keyboard that actually worked. Each individual button has a little micro switch beneath it. I sat and talked to this gentleman for a while about his Rubik's Cube solver. He is going for the world record. Right now, I think the record is 305 milliseconds, but his machine can solve the Rubik's Cube in about 250 milliseconds. And finally, here's one of those art pieces that I was talking about. It's just some balls suspended, but the simplicity the simplicity of it is so beautiful and elegant. The project that I was probably most excited to see and to ask about was this mini one wheel. I have a soft spot in my heart for one wheels because I built one from scratch myself and this one blew mine out of the water. Not only did it look just like the original one, but it was about half scale and all of the parts were manufactured by hand. You can see inside here a lot of the electronics. There is an open source motor controller called a VESC, as well as some microcontrollers to control the LEDs. The event wasn't just about people exhibiting their projects. There were also dozens of science and engineering YouTube creators who gave talks and panel discussions on a whole bunch of different topics. While I was at Open Source 2024, I wanted to make sure that I visited the DigiKey booth. And I want to share this little interview I recorded with David. Hi, my name is David Sandys. I'm Senior Director of Technical Marketing and content at DigiKey. So we're here at Open Source 2024 and obviously DigiKey has a booth here. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing here. What did you plan to accomplish in your visit? What, what brought you here to the event? So we're so excited to be here for lots of reasons. One of it, you can see behind us, we were talking about our XRP. This is a great project to get people introduced to robotics. Um, it's a partnership with DECA, which is Dean Cabin Research, Raspberry Pi, SparkFun, um, ST Micro. DigiKey, and we all got together and really created this amazing little robot. So this is a collaboration among all these different companies, yeah. and the goal is to get people interested and excited about robotics. Yeah, and if you think about it, it's not just that. It's you know, The barrier to entry for a first team is pretty high, so this enables us to get to scale, to you know underserved markets, those types of things, um, and these, these are really low-cost environments that have you know, distance sensors, line following sensors, accelerometer on it, all these great little uh, sensors on one easy to use platform. It's easy to assemble. I assembled one yesterday in like 10 minutes. Really? Which, is, which for me, that's amazing. Part of the reason why DigiKey is here is to you know, expose technology, next generation of, of hopefully engineers and customers for DigiKey. But more importantly, it's to see that aha moment you know, in that, in that next generation. Awesome. And, and there's a lot of people who are really good at mechanical, but may not know, know the elect, electronic side of things, the electrical yeah. side of things. That's the types of things we're showing here. So uh, if somebody wants to get one of these, what do they need to do? Uh, they can come to the DigiKey website, search XRP. Up there, they'll find projects based on it. It's, it's got this incredible rail system on it, so you can expand it with 3D printing. 
Um, cool. And you know, you can purchase the kit directly from DigiKey uh, and get starter code with it. Get you know everything you need to get up and running. So it's pretty cool. Some yeah. Things? So show me what we have. What else okay. we have? All right. Here. Cool. Here we've got our innovation hub. It's a great way people for people to learn about DigiKey. Talk about key products that we've got. Some of the content we've got up there. Uh, how to get people started with electronics. So it's, it's a really great way to interface with DigiKey for the first time. The other thing we have is we have this thing co we call the Innovation Handbook, which is really great for people who you know, don't know, ha have never been introduced to LEDs, have never been introduced to you know, uh, boards, common sort, maker, maker type boards and what have you. And we go through all of those, but we also have 80 pages of graph paper in the background so that people can take notes. It's I, a great little tool. I picked up one of those and it is super handy. Yeah. Like, I, it's a great reference, like I am like, Ah, you know, that's quicker to look in that book than it is to go search something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is one of our favorite platforms. It's called the Circuit Playground from Adafruit. And this one we have set up as a drum machine. Oh, nice. So just with a capacitive touch. This is really cool. This is the Matrix Portal. I don't know if you've seen this yet. Okay. Oh, wow. So does it have like an accelerometer on there? An to, accelerometer. Like an IMU? That's right. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, and this is, this is one of my favorite. Uh, demonstrations on the circuit playground. So what this is, is um, it's all these different sensors on this one little low cost platform. So for instance, this, this is using the microphone and doing like a VU meter to my voice. All right, this one here is capacitive touch. So wherever I touch on the outside, the LEDs light up. Um, this one here is an accelerometer. So you can see it changes colors as I change directions. And this one here, this is a light sensor and temp sensor. So if I put my finger over the light sensor, you see those go down. Or if I put my finger on the temp sensor, that will go up. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I see that. so it's just a great little platform for people who have not used. You can program this in MakeCode. You can program it in Python. It's a great platform out there just for people to learn. So, great. You know, That's these awesome. Are, these are the types of things we have here. We're really excited to show them. Really excited for you know professionals who have never been able to play with electronics to come in and try these, or students, makers, those types of things. And it's just a great what, place to what's be. What's been the reception so far? Like, what's the response for people visiting your booth? So far, it's been great. Um, you know, one of the things that's helping is obviously the XRP we talked about. We're giving away one of those every hour. Here really? at the show, yeah, and so we've had, uh, in the first day, we had over 300 people register wow. to be part of that, and it's just great to be part of the vibe. I mean, that's what open source gives you, that pretty much no other show gives you, is that you know vibe to get out there, talk to people, be part of the community, um, and, and share your share your goods. Yeah, it's one of your rare opportunities to directly interface with your customers and, and get the word out. So, Absolutely. do you think you'll be back next year? I sure hope so. Yeah, I sure hope so. Yeah, I mean, this has been this has been a, a great opportunity, and DigiKey's really happy to be here. Awesome. I had a blast attending the event, and I think it's because it's one of the few times that I get to interact with other people who think like me. Sometimes building electronics or working on things at home can feel a little bit isolating, but attending an event like this shows you that there's a whole world full of people that think like you do. I remember having a strong feeling of like, these are my people as I walked through the crowd and I saw how excited people were about the things that were shown. One of the cool things about attending an event like this is that they usually make a badge for people to wear around and it's usually made out of a circuit board that can be hacked. If you wanna see me populate this badge and talk about how it works, there will be a short here on the DigiKey YouTube channel. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Zach and I'm the Bite-Sized Engineer.